Okay, hi. This is uh, Home Designer Pro 8. Let's make a new plan. And <clears throat> I never use the snap grid or the reference grid. I'm just going to draw a simple plan. Keep this simple because I'm just what I'm showing here is not how to use Pro in general, but how to do a specific action, which is copy one floor to another. So let's create one floor here. I'm going to put a couple, couple windows in it and a door. Okay. Simple little house. All right. Now, if you want to create another floor, you go to the build menu, floor, build new floor. You can derive it from the uh, second floor, or you can make a blank and then draw it yourself. Right now I'm demonstrating changing one floor to another. <clears throat> now let's say for whatever reason, I want to put this floor on the first floor. Let's put uh, some windows in this one. Okay, we'll take a quick look. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to take uh, this floor here, these walls. I'm just going to select the first one, press the shift key, left click, left click, left click. That's what they call a selection set. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go down to the first floor. Well, this time I'll use a marquee. We'll just draw a marquee around that and delete it. And you turn on the reference. You can see the second floor is still there. That's what we're seeing up there. But I'm going to go over here to the Edit menu and select Edit, Paste, Paste Hold Position. Remember, I selected the walls of the second floor a moment ago, and they're still in memory. I think it's stored in the RAM, random access memory. Now let's take a look. Okay, duplicates. Now, keeping this simple, but the actions is what I'm, I'm trying to show here. So let's take the first floor. What is the most marquee selected? This left click. Or let me do that again. Shift key, which you can't see, left click, and then drag. It's a marquee select. Copy that. Go up to the second floor. And again, we'll go to build floor, building, building floor. Yeah, there it is. Make a blank. Edit, paste, hold position, bingo, bingo. And the program automatically figures out that the, and puts the roof on the top floor. There's a, lot of, there's a lot more to know about this sort of thing, but in terms of creating floors, and this is really handy like if you're going to do an apartment building and you've got an intricate first floor. And, of course, you have to think ahead so your stairwells uh, make sense and so forth, but uh, you can make a three-story apartment building or, or office building fairly fast by just doing the first floor and then copy-paste. Then you can go back and uh, uh, edit things up. <clears throat> but... For the poster, uh, the end user who wanted to know how to do that in Pro 8, well, that's basically, this is, this is not even the only way, but this is the way I thought of. Let me see if there's another way. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Build, Floor, Delete Floor. See, it automatically, it becomes the attic. When, it, when, I, when you delete the top floor, it automatically becomes the attic. At, do that again. Uh, let's see, where is it? I, I'm sorry, I'm in the, I need to be in the build menu. Floor, delete floor. See, it automatically becomes the attic. And in the, the roof reverts down here. Another way to, tool to use that is, uh, to, another tool to use to do this is the edit area tool. And you can see that there's, uh, you can copy the whole model. Or you can copy the whole model with just whatever layers are turned on. But in this case, I just want to edit area. And it's kind of like a marquee select. I'm going to uh, just left-click, drag a marquee. I'm going to drag that just a little bit inside the roof. I don't want to copy the roofs. Okay. Now I'm going to hit the copy command. Go to build. 
So you have to make some space for it. It's not going to really fit in the attic. So I'm going to build floor, building floor. I'm going to, ask, I'm going to make a blank. And we'll go edit, paste, hold position. And we got a new model. So there's, oftentimes in this software, there's more than one way to skin a cat, but there's a couple. Thank you very much.